Baddie alert, hold up. <laughs> Sis, do y'all see this or do y'all see this? Cause I see it, like, I know you see it. I know you do. It's that Z shit, it's that Z shit. Z shit. Pull up in a demon on guard. Hey guys, all right, so. As you can see, my hair is still purple. You're probably like, sis, what you mean wash and go? Like, it's coming. Just wait. I'm just kidding. Okay, so obviously I'm going to be doing a wash and go on my hair today. But I just wanted to show y'all what my hair is like. Hold up. First of all, if y'all want to see this faux puff tutorial, <laughs> like this video and let me know, okay? Yeah, I'm just going to wash this out. If you hadn't seen my um, how I dyed my hair purple video, go check it out. But I'm about to wash my hair and we can get started in this wash and go. But I'm just going to show y'all the, um, like what it looks like. First of all, my hair is going nowhere. So this video is already starting off on the right page. Because let me just tell you sis, I used the damn gel from uh, Style Factor to do this bun, okay? What well, is ponytail, whatever it is. My hair was formed, okay? So I already know like the hold for this wash and go is going to be ridiculous, okay? This is my hair, so I'm about to go wash my hair and when I do all that, I'll come back and, you know, show y'all the state that it's in and we're going to get into this wash and go and we're going to be lit, okay? All right. Okay, so my hair is freshly washed. Amen to that. I decided to put on a white uh shirt so y'all can see, you know, the real beauty of what's going on so the products you'll need today if you are recreating this look um well the products that i'm using i'm trying not to use too much because i want to see how this gel really 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 works okay so first item you will need is i don't really want to show y'all this because it looks kind of nasty because i have my um leave-in conditioner which is like a pudding type thing and my aloe vera juice and then I put like a hint of water in it and it looks gross. So that's what I have in my spray bottle. Next thing I'm going to be using is a Denman brush. This is the real deal. Like I love this thing. It's kind of breaking so I'm gonna have to give me another one. Unless Denman sees this and they want to just send me some Denman brushes, go ahead and do that. But you will need a Denman brush as well or a detangling brush, whatever you like. Tangle tees or all that, same stuff. Next, I will be using this coconut oil. Um, it's like half a gallon. What is this? It's 60 fluid ounces, so it'll last you a long time. And then, of course, like, you came here for, for this. Okay. So today's gel, we will be using the Style Factor Edge Booster Gel. And then, for the end, of course, you know, we gotta lay them edges, so we're gonna be using the pomade. I have the apple scent today. I just picked both of these up like last week. Um, maybe it was earlier this week because it is Saturday. But anywho, I've already kind of like dibbled and dabbled in <laughs> this container. But basically, this is what it looks like. It comes with a sealed cap and a spoon. It says use for hair gel only, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna need this. But then again, they came clutch with this because most people be like, I don't need no spoon. Da, 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 da. Well, sis, if you get nails every once in a while or occasionally or every week or every other week or whatever, however often you get your nails done, especially if they're long, I mean, you know we're supposed to scoop this way. But if you don't feel like doing all that, getting your hands all dirty and nails all gooky, you got a spoon. So honestly, I'm going to keep this because it's going to come in handy when my nails get longer. So inside the gel capsule, we have the jelly. It's really thick like sis i'm convinced this is what dairy queen uses in their shakes <laughs> i'm just kidding but like sis she thick i can't even pass on her she walk around with all her damn ass on her and yeah so it ain't going nowhere like if you drop it it might not even spill out so i have my hair section into four i'm going to start on the back um, I still have a little bit of conditioner in it because I want my hair to be still moisturized when I do this because I'm going to be wearing my hair like this for a minute. I'm just going to take it section by section. Um, I do four sections. I'll just split it into like another four, three to four sections to um, style my hair. And we're just going to start. So, of course, 
we're just gonna spray with my leave-in conditioner and water mixture. I mean, an aloe vera. Mm, this smells good though. Mixture. I make sure I detangle my hair literally like every step, so it's optional. Do what you do. But that is what I do. Next, we're gonna take some oil because we wanna make sure our hair is moisturized under all this gel. Cause I don't know how much I gotta use today. You wanna make sure your hair is pretty much dripping wet. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my hair some more. And once it's saturated to my liking, then we go on to add in the gel. Okay, so she's nice and juicy. And we're just going to take our spoon because honestly, I don't feel like dealing with that. So shout out to y'all because I'm not, probably the only one that's gonna be using this damn spoon. So, and I can show y'all how much, see they looking out, they be knowing. They like, okay, people make tutorials. They need to show y'all how much they're using, like, boom, bam, like we're here. So I'm probably gonna be taking this much. I like this, I like this little spoon. I'm, I'm gonna keep this. And if you know me or have watched any of my natural hair videos, I always like rub it in my products first before I apply it to my hair. I just like it better that way. I feel like it distributes better. So this is basically what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be raking it through my hair. Oh, she is popping okay so this is basically what it's gonna be looking like so I'm gonna shut up now and you guys can just see the process so here we go okay so first of all wait hold up skirt this is the before and after okay basically that's a whole bunch of frizz. This is a whole bunch of definition. I really think this is gonna come out cute, especially the way it dries. I'm going for like a deep side part and then like a big type bang. Hopefully it looks good on my diva cut that I did. And yeah, so just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my hair and we'll come back when it's done. section of my hair and it's looking real good and juicy but I don't really like the coconut oil because if it's not melted you'll get clumps in it and I don't want the little specks to be showing up on my hair so if you new to my channel this oil has been featured in a lot of my videos it's the oil I made so if you want to know what's in it just check out my description box but I'm gonna be using this instead of the coconut oil because obviously it's liquefied so it's not too much trouble but yeah anyway back to the video I'm loving how it's coming out already but yeah I'll be back. <laughs> it's a lot in here to be very honest and if it worked like how everybody wanted to work and how everybody think it's gonna work then you know they might be on to something all I'm gonna say is um style factor edge booster if you're watching this video please don't raise the price because I know how sometimes when things get hyped you know companies like to raise the price because you know, you know make more profit or whatever um, speaking for the natural hair community, please don't. Hopefully I smell like a pineapple baby. Now one thing I do want to see if this gel can do is lay my edges because sis, I know my hair and a lot of things don't work for it. My edges don't lay, they're too frizzy, like they just, they don't even curl up, they just fuzz up. 
and you know I don't really feel that look especially for the front of my hair so we're gonna see how I guess I can just lay it down as I'm doing it right and people are saying like um, the wet line extreme gel might be in competition and the only way I will say that is true is if this dries the way I want it to dry. So with the Wetline Extreme Gel, it weighs your hair down a whole lot. Like my hair doesn't get big at all. And I mean, I love the definition it gives me, but I don't like, I don't like how it doesn't give me volume. So, and what I'm doing here is just going through and separating some of the curls and, you know, getting a little bit more definition on it so it's not too frizzy like we like frizz but not in the styling process okay so moving on um i love the line i love everything about the line uh don't quote me but i'm pretty sure this um brand is black owned so support black businesses because that's what we do out here First of all, look at the look at the elongation. First of all, hold up. I mean, I understand that's the lowest part and it might be longer than the rest of my hair, but still like shrinkage weird. I do think it will give me shrinkage, I'm not gonna lie. But honestly, I'm okay with that because I, I want, I don't know if my hair can wash and go into like the diva cut. This is actually my first wash and go on my diva cut. Now I did wash my hair and style it for like the purple hair video thing, but I styled it at the front so it kind of took away from the wash and go factor. So this is really like my real first wash and go on this haircut. And will I use this gel again? Just wait to the end and I will let you know. You know we're gonna see how this does hopefully it gets big because I really want the big look like I've never had a problem with my hair getting big until like this year so that is the test for me with this gel I just always make sure or try to make sure that my part is defined like the hair that comes from the part as long as that's defined it'll make your hairstyle look so fresh Split it and rake, split it and rake, split it and rake, then split it and rake, split it and rake, split it and rake, sing it with me, split it and rake, A. Okay, it is now 3.05. Happy 4.20 to you guys. It's actually 4.20 today and I'm recording a video for you. We're gonna see how long it takes to dry. I will give it like maybe two hours because this stuff actually dries pretty fast. Like this side, the ends are already basically dry. So I just only have to worry about my roots. Until then, I will see you in about two to three hours. Um, so what happened was, um, it's the next morning <laughs> nothing happened my hair actually took a minute to dry so like after the fourth hour i was like okay clearly it's not getting dry tonight so let me just go ahead and wrap this thing up and go to bed all i did was slept with a bonnet on and this is what it looks like today i'm loving how it looks it kind of looks like it's already a little bit fluffed but not really this is just how it dried basically but anyway all i'm about to do now is just take these things out of my hair i clip the front so it can like stay that way and not like flip around and draw weird so you know it can stay in that like thing I'm trying to go for. To break the cast of the crunch I'm going to or to break the crunch of the cast I don't know how you say it but anyway I'm about to just apply my oil section my hair while I do it so it's not a problem and I don't miss pieces or nothing like that. So I actually want to stretch it as well but I'm thinking breaking the cast and just fluffing it with my pick might um, just be good on its own. So, 
let's just apply my oil I'm just gonna section my hair again in different chunks and fluff it out with my pick. And I think that'll be my final look for this. You know what it feels like to fall in love. I'm just trying to make a move, girl. Put you in a new girl. Yeah. Y'all, as y'all can tell, I'm lit because this hair looks bomb, okay? This is the exact look I was going for. Like, everything to the T. Everything is perfect. Like, I have nothing to say bad about this damn watch ago. Like, get into it. Okay, now I didn't want this to be like a comparison to Wetline, but sis, that's the gym everybody been talking about and I'm here to tell you, Style Factor is taking over. I'm trying to tell you, if you don't have this gel, I'm gonna need you to go get this gel, okay? Like, I've never had a wash and go look like this, never, okay? Mind you, my hair has always been long, but trust me, look, I've never been able to achieve a good wash and go on my hair. Like, my hair has never looked like this in a wash and go. Every time I used to do a wash and go when my hair was longer, I would have the volume, like, up to where this part is. And then my ends would just be stringy and it would look all weird. But, sis, like, I'm loving the shape right now. It's, it's literally giving me all of my life that I thought I lost. Like... Throw all the other gels away because this right here. You know what's crazy? It says rub a small amount onto hands and apply evenly on dry or damp hair, then style as desired. Sis, I did my hair on soaking wet hair. The only thing I did, I want to say it probably didn't define like my roots as good as I probably would want it to, because it looks just like my um, you know, my hair before. But honestly, it's not a problem to me because that right there gives me the volume. But, but all I'm saying is Style Factor Edge Booster, if y'all seen this video, go ahead and like let me model for y'all because like this wash and go is everything. This is so cute. Like, I'm really amazed because as y'all know, like I've never been able to achieve like a good wash and go on my hair. And this is it for me like this is really it for me so yes wet line you do have competition and honestly you're in second place i'm sorry i love you for definition but the volume just isn't there sis i mean you have everything i need you have you have hold you have definition and you have aloe because i love me some aloe y'all know i love me some aloe in my hair my face everything and i don't know Style Factor has come to play and she, she won. I don't know how else to put it. She has now taken over the natural hair community. And if you are a natural, like I might've said before, if you don't have this product, um, I'm going to need you to buy it. Yes, it is kind of pricey. It is, it's, it's up there. It's about maybe 13 to $15, depending on what your local beauty supply store sells it for. But honestly, it's worth it. Like, I feel like I'm probably the test dummy for this because my wash and go, I, I don't know how many times I have to say it. Like, I've never had a wash and go come out looking like this. Oh, let's not even forget that. I forgot about the whole thing. This is literally the only thing I used to style my hair. 
the only thing I use. I use water slash aloe vera juice slash my leave-in conditioner, which is normal stuff I would do on my hair anyway before wash and go. And then I coated my hair with some oil just so it, you know, be moisturized under the gel. And then I just use the gel. So this is literally a one product wash and go technically. And I love the results. I love what this has done for me. Like look at my edges. I know you see it shiny laid and slayed i have nothing but nice words for style factor edge booster i've been using the pomade honestly for about has it been a year i don't know my other jar is completely empty so they have other like pomade type products i haven't bought them yet but i think i might because i want to do this hairstyle with my sister so you know stay tuned for all of those videos because i got some good ideas you know in my head and in my book and i'm gonna produce them because period but anyway, I hope I informed you guys enough on this gel. This thing was bomb.com. I loved it. Like, I have nothing but nice words to say about this company and this gel. I'm just loving this hair. You've already been informed on how I feel about it. So, I don't know what else there is to it other than, like I said, style factor. Holler at your girl. I really did hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope you guys, you know found this video useful i hope that i'm an inspiration to somebody out there to go get this gel because i'm trying to tell you i ain't lying to you it is the truth okay with all that being said i love this hairstyle you know i'm about to be snapping pictures in it if you don't follow me on instagram go ahead and follow me now i'll list it below or above don't know yet and you know just go check out some of my other videos if you want to see anything go ahead and comment down what you want to see but the last thing I need you to do is like this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm on a road to 5k and I'm almost there. And after 5k we'll be on to 10k and after 10k we'll be on to 50k and after 50k it's only up from here. We about to hit a million, okay? So just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you like my natural hair, you like how this video came out, you might as well just subscribe because after this, I'm about to be dropping nothing but fire with my hair. Like, this is about to be my only styler, and we about to get this money. And no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go get you this gel. This gel will not lie to you. Thank you for watching. Let's go ahead and subscribe, because we're lit over here. We're lit. So let me go enjoy this. Hopefully snap some pictures and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Do you know what it feels like to fall in love?